Hello, everybody, boys and girls. Okay, I took your suggestion. You know me, I'm Tom. On a couple of videos back, I said shingles, but everybody says no. The pitch is way too low, and you need to put tin. So I stayed consistent, and I went ahead and put tin because there's tin on everything except the little house over there, of course. Plus, I added a couple of little pieces right over there that was missing off that. So I went down to Home Depot, got the tin, and stuck it up. Put in my little trim board in here, and, oh well, yeah, put up the siding. Nice. Let me get down off the ladder, and I'll show you what I was able to accomplish. Looks like a box. <laughs> a gigantic box. But that's okay. It's going to serve the purpose of what I need it for. I need extra storage space. And it rained all morning, but it didn't matter. I had to stay out here and get this thing done. Look at the mud. Just mud everywhere. But it turned out okay. I still got to put another piece across there. Tie that in. And finished off the side over here. And also laid uh, an extra half inch floor in here, which I needed it because of uh, the rigidity. Now I ran out of lumber. I didn't. I didn't buy enough because I can only fit so much of the stuff in the van. Tomorrow's going to really rain hard, so this is going to end up being another day project getting this front buttoned up. But now the floor is thicker. Two layers. So now I got a one inch floor. Nice and solid in here too. Yep. Went ahead and built a little shelf up there. So I have some above ground storage just for odds and ends. My little bench over here. Nice. But it's gonna serve the purpose. That's what it's all about. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Rained all morning. I thought it was going to just stay like that all day long, but it ended up turning out to be a pretty, pretty decent day. It's warm. It's about 68 degrees, almost 70 degrees today. So I was a little shocked about that. But they did say we got a warming trend, and then it's going to, you know, it's going to do all kinds of crazy stuff. It's going to rain really big time. We're supposed to be getting an inch and a half tomorrow, so I had to get this tin roof on get the siding up at least as much as I could so right now I've got exactly five hundred and twenty five dollars in this building and that's not bad considering these go for about eighteen to twenty two hundred an eight by ten uh, of course they're a little bit more fancier you know obviously they got a little window in it and stuff like that uh, but I was going the cheap way out I used all the raw materials that I had out here and that was the big thing I wanted to go as cheap as I could, get myself an extra, you know, a little, uh, a little building uh, so I could just put other odd and end stuff in there that I wanted to get out of the shipping container because the shipping container is completely full. But it's serving the purpose. That's what it's all about. So, now, at least it looks complete, a lot more weatherproof, and that's what it's all about. nice and I had a couple of you guys comment <laughs> up in the Midwest and in Canada you guys still got snow New York <laughs> I feel sorry for you guys really I do I wish <laughs> well no I don't wish you could bring any of that here we we had our seven days worth of snow and that's all we need man we don't need any more but uh I appreciate all you guys getting on my channel and leaving comments it, it's been great it's been fun I'm at like almost 40, uh, 9,500 subscribers. I need about 500 more. And uh, I hit that milestone. I hit that milestone with YouTube. Let me say something about YouTube. Uh, YouTube has really been jerking around uh, a lot of the creators. I got a big survey the other day asking me what I thought about YouTube and how they were treating me. 
and you know are they helping me to you know grow my channel and you know just all these different questions it was a big survey and what was what it, what it, what I think it's all about is that that character Paul Logan well, you know when he went out the the guy's got 15 million subscriber you know the the 25 year old whatever his name is blonde head kid went to Japan and did a video uh, of some person, you know, the, the forest that everybody hangs themselves, you know, commits suicide. And he was joking around about it. So they pulled his sponsors, you know, they pulled his, uh, his monitorization off his channel. And, uh, you know, I think what's going on, a lot of, a lot of other YouTubers like Hitchcock45, uh, a lot of them are going to all these different uh, forums. And, uh, and I, I can see why. Because the bottom line is, is they're they're actually taking away money from uh, from the creators, guys like me. I've been on I've been on YouTube for a long time. I'm some I'm one of the I think one of the you know first couple you know few people that got on right when YouTube started up. I've been on the channel a lot of years. I think 2008 when I first uh, signed up with YouTube. So I've been on 10 years. I've been on YouTube. Now, I've only been creating for about five years. You know, I got 600 and, what, 667 videos out there. Uh, and I have a small channel. Remember, I don't do all this fancy monetization. You know, I don't, uh, you know, do all these, uh, uh, you know, subtitles and editing. It takes too much time. You have no idea how much of a pain in the butt that is to sit down and edit a video. And besides, I just don't. I just don't have the patience for it. You know, if I wanted to really, you know, bust out and you know try to get thirty, forty thousand viewers, you know, and do stuff like that, you know, yeah, I could sit down and, and, and figure it all out. But I don't want to, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like to keep things really, really simple. And and I suppose that's the message. You know, YouTube might be dogging me around. I, they've cut my income almost near in half. You know, I I don't care. You know, I, I've told you guys many, many times that this channel is all about me and you and the, and the friends I've made since I've been on this channel because I've got a lot of good friends on YouTube and you guys know who you are too because I, con I stay in contact with all you guys uh, Farmer, uh, you know, uh, Mike, Dave, uh, Mohammed, uh, you know, Chef Fabio, uh, 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 Kalinga, uh, you know, Linda, Barbara uh, uh, John, Frank, Al, Thomas, uh, the, the list goes on, all the guys that I communicate with almost on a daily basis in some form, fashion, or another. Uh, I'm all about you guys, and hopefully you guys are into the stuff I do out here. You know, you guys are telling me I'm living a dream. It's, it's, it's lonely, but you know what? Yeah, I feel like I've made it in life. You know, I've got a good business. I've got a pretty good life. You know, I've got a couple basically good friends, and I've got a lot of subscribers that I communicate with. As far as I'm concerned, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have you guys. So on that note, I just want to say thank you for being on my channel, and appreciate the adventures that you guys go on with me, uh, with the off-grid farm, the handyman business, and just philosophy and a bunch of other just common sense uh, information that I put across on my channel. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Leave those comments. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll catch you guys out on another video. So I'm out of here on another, vi on another video from the off-grid farm. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right. Little building. The big box. Nice, but it's cheap. 500 bucks. And all the rest of the toys. My baby. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Love you.